Now I'll explain how to operate the machine. So when you're working with a mill, you've got three axes, X, Y, and Z. Your X and Y are here and here. Um, one moves this direction, and the knobs, it's hard to see on this one, but on this one you can see they're incremented in thousandths of an inch, and one rotation is 62 and a half thousandths, which is the same thing as a sixteenth of an inch. So one rotation will move the table sixteenth of an inch in either of these directions. Um, so that's X and Y. Your Z axis is a little bit more complicated. Um, and there's locks for all of these. So um, right now the vise is in the way. We can't lock this axis, but this one, if you tighten that, it's locked, loosen it, and then this can spin freely. For the Z axis, the lock is back here. That's loosened and that's tightened. If you loosen it up, um, then if you take this out, push, push the handles this way, then you can use it for coarse Z adjustment. And then you push it in and line up the teeth in there and press it together, then it's locked. You can't use this. Instead you use this, which has an indexing. Um, each line is a thousandth of an inch, and this is split into 60 divisions. So one revolution is 60 thousandths. Instead of 62 and a half, which is different. But that's how you move your X, Y, and Z. And um, the control here on the head, um, we've got the RPM control. It'll go all the way up to 1,000, 1,100 on low gear and 2,500 in the high gear. And this is the emergency stop. Uh, so if you press it, then you can hear the fan shut off and pull it up and the machine can run again. And if it stops, this won't work either. And underneath the emergency stop is just a regular stop that stops temporarily. And this fixture holds it in. And the last control over here on the side is to switch between the high and low gears. Um, if you hold that, and you might have to spin the spindle a little bit to make sure that it goes in. But that's how you change between the gears of the machine. So to change your tool down here, um, you'll want to remove this cap on the top. There's no threads, it just pulls off. It's kind of tight when it's new. Um, and it exposes the drawbar. Before you start working with any of this, you'll want to shut off the machine and lock. Spin this until the, the rod fits and locks into there. Now this can't spin. Basically, to take out your tool, you would loosen this and hit it down and it would pop the uh, taper out at the bottom. And you'd be able to bring the collet out of there. The machine doesn't come with collets like this for end mills. It comes with a drill truck like this, three jaw drill truck. Um, this works really nice for drilling and locating and everything. But if you want to do milling, um, the collets work a lot better to grip the end mills. Um, they don't come with it, but I bought a set on Amazon. It was uh, a set of 13 collets for $25 and they come in different sizes depending on what tools you have. This is a quarter inch collet for the quarter inch tool. Now the vise is mounted to our mill and we have a piece of aluminum in here. It's just mounted, it's not on parallels and we don't have the vise indicated yet, um, but we're just taking a test cut to see how well this thing works. And um, it's about a 16th inch depth of cut in that direction. So let's try it.
seemed to work pretty well. Um, that was a conventional cut, not a climb cut. And the surface seems to be pretty good. Um, after we clear the chips out, yeah. I think it looks pretty good. Um, we are using a carbide cutter in it this time. Um, so I probably could have made a faster cut, but I think it still gave a good surface finish on that. So I don't really have any complaints about this machine. It works really nicely. Um, the only thing that I would miss on, like compared to a Bridgeport would be, it doesn't have auto feeds for these axes and it doesn't have an auto tool remover. But everything else works great and I think it's a great machine for the price. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe.